It's me, Ruben, welcome back. I wanna show you today how to make some French baguette. I love French baguette. Every time I go to France, pretty much the only thing I need is some French baguette and some wine. Uh, and since we live in Switzerland, and it's really, really hard to get some good baguette out here and some good bread in general, bread that really lasts a few days, so difficult. That's why we're gonna do our own French baguette and it's really, really easy. And hey, by coincidence, it's vegan by nature because we don't need really that much. We're gonna start off with about 375 grams of all-purpose flour. We're gonna take some fresh yeast, which you can buy anywhere. It looks like this. It's like a little block of yeast. We're gonna take about half of this one, so about like 20 grams. We're just gonna crumble that up, and um, then we're gonna take 300 milliliters of lukewarm water, and I already prepared this right here. Just gonna mix it together so that the yeast dissolves in this lukewarm water really nicely. We're gonna take about eight grams, which is about a good um, tablespoon of salt, all-purpose salt, nothing special. And then, all we're gonna do is, we're gonna mix this together. Once this is mixed together, you can use um, just a fork to, to mix the dough together, and it's gonna be a very sticky, sticky dough, um, but once it's all mixed together, we're gonna give it about an hour, an hour and a half for the dough to rise, and you'll see um, it's gonna rise by about like double the size. I mean, now we have flour in here, just covering the bottom uh, quarter, and then <clears throat> this is gonna rise. What I usually do is I take a kitchen towel, any kitchen towel. Um, get that wet with some uh, light warm water and then uh, just squeeze out the, the, the leftover water and then you're gonna cover that, put the dough in a nice corner where there's no draft, where it's a bit warm and uh, cozy for the dough so the dough can rise. The longer you let the dough sit, the more it's gonna rise, you're gonna have more air come into the dough. Um, so we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna have some uh, baguettes for uh, later tonight. And uh, therefore, we're just gonna give it like an hour, an hour and a half. So we're gonna put the water mixture, the water yeast mixture, put it all in there. Use the fork to mix this all up. Start like always from the center and work yourself to the outside, getting more and more dough, or more, I'm sorry, more and more of the flour worked into the dough. That way you don't like have to do everything at once. Works pretty well. And really, this is a really, really simple recipe. Uh, you know, you can, you can get yourself like these baguette um, spring forms. There's like, you know, special forms where you can put the dough in. That way they're gonna be nice and skinny and long. I don't even have these, so I'm just gonna like form some sort of a dough myself. And then I'm gonna throw that in the oven, get the oven really nice and warm. Um, a good trick is to put a little bowl um, of water inside the, the oven. That way you keep uh, keep a bit of moisture inside the, the oven. So this is all nice and mixed. So it's a good, good sticky dough. I'm gonna use my hand to do the rest just to get it all mixed together. It's also always a very relaxing um, process. Netting the dough, really good for you. And here we go, that's pretty much our dough. It's really, really sticky, you see? But that's pretty much how it looks. Um, leave that dough in here now. We're gonna cover it 
with the kitchen cloth, damped, and then we'll be back in about an hour, hour and a half, and continue this beautiful baguette. So, looks about that. Just about double in size, there we go. <clears throat> now, get yourself a baking tray, put some uh, baking paper down. Uh, don't forget to get a little, uh, little bowl of some water, uh, one that you can put actually inside the oven. Um, then you can take one of these spatulas and um, just get yourself a nice little surface, put, put down a little bit of the uh, flour that you have left and then um, I'm just going to cut like about one third out of the dough out here and I'm going to start making the first baguette. Have more flour in hand, just in case it gets really f sticky. Just push that, put that on the surface. And then um, all you have to do is really, you don't have to do much. Just start rolling that out um, to a nice long little baguette looking. So I'm not going to make the long, 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 super long baguettes because I don't even have that much space on my... Um, the way what I do is, once I get a good size or a good length, I, I just start to twist twist it a little bit like braid it, like a braid or something just twist keep on twisting it the more you twist it the longer it will get and then have like a nice long like thing like this put that on the uh, baking tray and uh, continue to do that with the rest of the dough I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Three, three baguettes out of this dough today. I think that should be just about right. And the oven is on. The oven is heated. 240 degrees Celsius. Um, get it nice, nice and hot. And um, then we're gonna put this in. Probably like for. 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. Always depends on the oven, but I'll keep an eye on it and I will show you when it's done. You can, you can tell, I mean, you'll see when the uh, baguette is nice and golden that it's done and ready to go. So number two, I also want to leave some room on the uh, tray because these are still gonna get a little bit bigger when they cook. And you really don't have to press much. I mean, keep the dough really light because I uh, don't want to press out any of the air here now. So I'm really just gently rolling this out to the desired length. See, and it's not sticking to the surface because they put some of the flour down. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. If it's not enough, you can always put more on there. And there we go. Number three. Put that also on the baking tray. To make sure everything is nice and twist it. There we go. Then, um, I'm just going to put the, the water in there, at the bottom. And then one level up there. 
mid-double. I'm gonna put in our little baguettes. Twenty minutes, like eighteen, nineteen, and um, we're good to go. Uh, best way to really check if the baguette is ready is just take one of these lovely baguettes, turn around, and just give it a little tap here. And if you hear that, it's like sounds hollow. They're done. So. I would say they're perfectly fine. Ooh, very, very hot. And there we go. We got our little baguettes ready. I'm gonna cut one open to show you how beautiful they look from the inside. Look how crunchy that is. Good sound, very nice and crunchy. And that's our French. Fresh, hot French baguette, homemade in what less than 15 minutes if you prepare all everything together, plus the time that you need to let the uh, dough um, rise. Perfect, I think. Can't go any better than that. Get yourself some nice uh, foie gras, which we still have here. Uh, use it for your salad, for uh, a nice soup. Or get yourself some uh, vegan spreads and um, you have a fantastic baguette or use it for breakfast. Thanks so much. Merci beaucoup. And au revoir. See you next time.